Hello and welcome back to the Watchman Channel. This prophetic word comes from Christy Johnston, Redding, California. Changing of the Guard. In my recent prayer times with the Lord, I have been sensing a seismic shift in the Spirit, and as I have been praying, I have been hearing these words, There is a changing of the guard in my church. As I was asking the Holy Spirit what this means, I, I heard him say, I am leading my people back into intercession. I am removing the distractions and the unnecessary works. I am leading my church to be a people of prayer once again. I began to see a vision of a church service where I was looking up close into one congregation which I knew represented his people across the earth. I saw about a hundred people in this gathering. And there was something strikingly different from the regular church service we were used to being in the Western church. The entire body of people, both men, women, and children, were on their knees, even sprawled out flat on the ground, and they were each uniquely gripped in prayer. Gone was the typical and expected church service that might we might be used to, for the entire church was in this grip of intercession, crying out in accordance with the cries of the Spirit of God. All I could think was, this is like the church in Acts. I could then see the Holy Spirit. He appeared like a large and mighty eagle hovering over the con the congregation. With wings outstretched wide over his church, he was beating his wings as it hovered just above them. With every movement of his wings, a new wave of intercession would be birthed across his people. I realized the wind of his wings was releasing wave upon wave of intercession. Prayers that were in accordance with his heart. Travails of prayer could be heard in unison with every beat of the eagle's wings. It was then that I noticed something was happening in the atmosphere around the congregation. A fresh wind was beginning to pick up. It was a bit like a tornado around them, and it was not destructive at all. It reminded me of the burning bush with Moses, a, a burning fire that didn't singe one leaf of the tree. This tornado was beginning to form around the people through their intercession, yet it was not causing any destruction, but rather I noticed the, their intercession grew wilder and more powerful. I then saw in this vision an expanded bird's eye view of the streets around the church. I noticed the church was positioned in the middle of a dark and poverty-stricken neighborhood. The streets looked war-torn, covered in trash and run down. At first, I noticed these winds of intercession. They remained around the people in the building, however. However, as their cries continued to increase and their prayers continued in travail, the wind began to move outside of the four walls and pick up momentum within the streets. Again, the wind was not destructive, but I began to see physical demons hiding in the shadows of these poverty-stricken streets, and at first, they, they could only hear the sound of the wind, and it set them into a wild panic. Then, as quick as the sound came, the, the wind soon followed. I saw these demons and recognized them as stronghold principalities over this particular region I was witnessing in the vision. They began to shriek and tear, running to and fro, trying to escape the forces of this wild inter intercession wind. I even saw one demon try. He tried to hold onto a trash can, desperately clinging to his territory, but to no avail. The wind swept it along, along with every other principality. They were blown into the chaotic tornado until each one of them was no more. At this moment, I could still see the church in ongoing prayer. I could see the mighty eagle of the Holy Spirit continuing to beat his wings as he hovered over his people. Each beat of his wings continued to release a new pair of a new wave of prayer, followed by a new wind that first swirled around his people, then went forth into the communities around them. This was a wind that was setting all things right again, exposing darkness and unseating principalities. At that end, the vision ended. Amos 4.13 says, Behold, he who forms mountains and creates the wind and declares to a man what his thoughts, and he makes dawn into darkness. He treads on the high places of the earth. The Lord, God of hosts, is his name. Pondering over this, I kept thinking about this phrase, the phrase I've been hearing in my spirit, a changing of the guard. When I was a little girl, just five years old, my parents and I visited the United Kingdom and the highlight of the trip was me visiting Buckingham Palace where I was hoping to get to see the Queen. While I didn't get a sighting of the Queen as I had hoped for, we happened to arrive at the exact moment where we got to witness the ceremony of the changing of the guard. I'll forever remember it. According to the Royal website, 
The changing of the guard ceremony marks the moment when the soldiers currently on duty, the old guard, exchange places with the new guard. I believe we are about to see a new guard of intercession grip the heart of God's people across the earth as the Lord is leading his people back into their positions of prayer. I believe this will come suddenly where pastors and leaders will become seized with the unction to lead their people into repentance and prayer. The religious spirits will be in an uproar because the church is about to change guards. It won't be service as usual as gatherings will shift into a supernatural dimension where I can hear the people of God crying out in unison, Holy Spirit, have your way. There is a new guard, a new order, and a shift that we are about to step into the throes of. And I encourage you, do not resist this changing of the guard. The church leaders and pastors, I encourage you to prepare for what the Holy Spirit is doing, to be open to going where he leads, for it is not going to look like anything you've planned. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is looking for his people he can rest upon in this hour, for a people who will be open to lay down their will and their plans a people he can birth this new wind of his spirit through. John 3, 8 says, The wind blows where it wishes and you hear the sound of it, but do not know where it comes from or where it is going. So it is anyone who is born of the Spirit. There is a sound coming, and it is about to break every sound barrier before it. There is a wind coming. It is going to violently topple religious thinking and mindsets. It will unseat demon principalities and expose the hidden workings of darkness. He is longing to release this sound through you, his people. Are you ready? Are you willing? Are you surrendered? Don't hold on to your plans too tightly. Be willing and pliable to surrender to his will and his way. For in this hour there is a changing of the guard, and I can hear his wings beginning to beat. Acts 2 2 says, Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole earth where they were sitting. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come into agreement with this word. Lord, we unite our spirits and we declare and decree that there is a changing of the guard. Lord, we thank you that you are bringing in. You are renovating your church. You are bringing in leaders who put you first, Father, who put prayer first, Father, who aren't looking for a show, who aren't looking at filling seats and auditoriums, God, but people who are after your heart, people who are after the things that you are after, who are aligning themselves with your will and your purposes. Father, what a dramatic vision that our sister Christy saw. I mean, it's absolutely amazing, God. Lord, that there could be this eagle that's wings are beating and wave upon wave of intercession, God. It's, it's causing us, Lord, to tap into what is powerful in the atmosphere around us. God, may we be more, may we be more uh, understanding. May we see with, with spiritual eyes more than with our natural eyes, God. May we fight to protect this territory. We thank you, Father, for the changing of the guard, and we declare, we cry out in unison, Holy Spirit, have your way. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.